Hello all, it's Creatively Anzi here. Welcome to the first in what I hope to be a long line of game reviews. Today we are reviewing Lemon Cake. Lemon Cake is a cooking or rather baking simulation game by indie dev Eloise LaRouche. I want to thank Eloise for providing us with this um, game code to be able to review the game. It has been so much fun. The tagline for the game is grow ingredients in the greenhouse, bake pastries and sweets in the kitchen, serve customers in your own store. So let's dig in. Did you see what I did there? <laughs> okay, so of course when you first launch the game, they're setting up your character, the customization, hair color, eye color, hairstyles, all the usual suspects when it comes to customizing your game. You get cute outfits. Unfortunately, there's two options that are locked, but I'm hoping that you are able to earn them down the line somewhere. The game starts after the customization. The game starts with a strange and rather hostile, I may add, um, ghost of Baker's past, in instructing you on how to turn around this rundown bakery back to its former glory it once was, whilst telling you how their recipes are so much better than yours are. Someone has a chip on their shoulder. Your first day you are shown by the ghost again how to make recipes, clicking on the um, recipe icon, then mixing it in the bowl and then the oven if it requires the oven and rinse and repeat sort of similar format for the other, the different recipes that you do. Um, the ghost will tell you about tidying up. Oh my goodness, seriously guys, you need to tidy up. Any new customer that walks in Woe betize you if you're not a nano if you're a nanosecond late tidying up after the customer that you currently have that have just finished their pastry because a potential customer that's just walked in will leave so quickly you wonder if they were even there in the first place. I'm not kidding. New customers will, will walk two steps into the door, they and then they'll um see a dirty plate or a customer that's still just just finished literally just finished and they'll run for the heels if you're not practically cleaning the crumbs off the customer's lap as they eat and for those of us who don't like to tidy when the stool gets dirty mainly the kitchen um it what looks like flour all over the floor it actually slows you it slows down your movement walking through that mess so you have to give it a little sweep and you have to keep doing this throughout the day um so please beware of that there is a helpful bar at the top that tells you if the oven is out of firewood etc if your customer has left if there's the dish to be tidy you better go and tidy that dish trust me uh, it's because you have to tidy a dish for another customer to sit down and then use that space and then be able to sell something. So in order to sell, you need to be tidying. Um, uh, if you're like me and you just like to over prepare the way I do, I wanted to book like bake like 10 things before the uh, the bakery open for the day. Unfortunately, you can't do that. <laughs> you only have one place you can set things and that's there's a small table. You can get... Um, shelves at the front which are display cases um but you have to buy them as you progress through the game um and they're one big one item per display case but if you've left if you've made too many pastries by the end of the day there is a bin but you know i don't like to waste uh, waste good food especially delicious pastries you can leave it on the table overnight and presto change it which magically keeps magically wraps itself into a gift and you can slyly put it on the display shelf and eventually some desperate <clears throat> i mean kind customer will purchase this day old pastry success <laughs> um so the storyline progresses quite nicely um you need to you have to you know you're you're trying to renovate this um, rundown bakery into a shiny polished new bakery with new stuff extra ovens or rather fixing the ovens that are there mainly it's a fixer wrapper um and getting tips will be able to allow you to purchase all these items that are locked as you can see and there's three different um places so just purchasing them will be able to unlock different things going around the kitchen faster or something you do the display cases are obviously very helpful because a customer can directly just purchase from the display cases you don't even have to go out there uh and to progress the store to progress the story and or 
uh, get the bakery up and um, looking nice. You have to unlock all of these things. To do that, uh, you have to sell some delicious creations. Um, that sort, all the things that you're generally used to when it comes to sort of these um, cooking simulations, you know. And you are given new recipes by your not so friendly neighborhood ghost of baker's past. <laughs> and they will give you extra um, recipes and you can chop and change these recipes and that kind of things. And the pastries do have a price rating and cooking time and different options that are available. So actually that's pretty useful. What is the most cost? Uh, so you can decide for yourself what's most cost effective and what earns you more money and more tips and what's easier to make and that sort of thing if you wanna get savvy with the business. But of course the, game, the name of the game is to be a baker and make beautiful pastries, but you also do wanna earn money and buy you know, your different upgrades, that kind of thing. Now let's talk visuals. It's nice to look at the game. The images are cutesy and quite clear cut and simple. A uh, dough of pastry is a blob, so it's not like super detailed. But the actual pastry, when you do make it in the oven or when you just make it in the bowl, it turns out quite pretty actually. So it's just the sugar cubes will make this marsh mar marshmallow thing, marshmallow twist, which is really cute. Um, so. These are the things I think can be improved for the game. Customization of your character. The different hairstyles and actual the different hair colors can be a bit more varied, a bit more diverse with the hairstyles. Um, the different outfits that you get, they can get more varied I think as well. There's only two options for the socks. Um, and the bakery itself can be, I feel like the customization there could have been by far far greater I don't know if there could be a color palette option included if you wanted to get well, I would prefer a pink bakery an all pink bakery um doesn't that sound like a sweet idea do you, do you get it, do you get it? <laughs> okay I'm gonna stop doing that but yeah I feel like they they sort of um missed it there where you could actually customize the actual your surroundings itself the floor that kind of thing um, that would have been nice if you could change the colours of those sort of things or the design. Um, the load, because there's the bar, the helpful bar at the top um, can be quite slow to, because there's so many things that you're doing that it has sort of a list and it has to sort of process each one in that processing can take a little bit of time. There's a lot of instructions, make sure you tidy up after your um, customer, tidy up after your customer. That, that and then your oven is out of firewood, those sort of things can take a little bit longer to process. Um, sometimes at the beginning it feels like you're waiting around for your customer to chew 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 before you can um, uh, you know, tidy up and wait for the next customer. But this will happen um, less and less as the game progresses because you'll find that you have so much to do in fact. Um, baking, the display cases, tidying up the kitchen and then of course you have the garden at the back which feels more like a farm because you've got animals there that you can adopt to that they'll be there um, I've got a cocoa tree currently for the chocolate and there's just so many so much more upgrades so even now I'm just there's so many things that I have to do and I don't have to wait around for my customer so it will feel like that at the beginning that you're kind of just waiting for your customer to finish and go but after a while that won't happen um, after quite like it, it won't take too long to get to that stage um, things that I like about this game almost everything I will add as things can be improved part this is things I like that can be improved it's I wish it was available on the switch because this feels like the sort of game you'd want to be playing when you're out and about um, but again, I really enjoy this game. I'm a huge fan of cooking games and if you enjoyed Cake Mania um, on the DS Lite and uh, Overcooked game series, Overcooked 1 and 2, this will be right up your alley um, with like having fun running around the kitchen and serving customers who have an insatiable need for pastries. Yes, <laughs> it's fun, it's lighthearted, it's a stress-free game. It's the sort of vibe you get from playing Animal Crossing, you know? Um, I like the progress and because of the multitude of things you are doing, the game doesn't feel repetitive even, even though you're doing sort of similar things like baking that kind of thing, 
because you can cheat, chop and change the recipes, you can do cookies on the menus instead of um, a baguette, that kind of thing. Um, you can grow your strawberries, you can grow the cocoa in the garden. Then you have to take care of watering the plants, tidying up the kitchen, doing the customers, the display cases. There are so many different things to do and you can still um, change the menu every single time because the menu, the recipes are a multitude, but the menu is um, a bit more limited. Not in a bad way, it means that you can have, you know, today's special is, I don't know, cookies or something, but that it feels like you can sort of change it a bit more and that it won't feel like this is the same thing over and over again. So um, I will say that about it. Um, would I recommend this game? Yes, Lemon Cake is a treat for all users. Lemon Cake is out now, so I do recommend that you check it out. It's available on Steam. The link will be in the description as well for Lemon Cake, so do be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching. Please let me know your thoughts on this game in the comments below. And be sure to follow MG for more game reviews. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, check out our site at themelangamers.com and check out our socials on Twitter and Insta. See you all later. Bye.